Well, after pronouncing a 25% increment in salaries for civil servants, the Lagos state government has come under pressure for taking such a move with a few months to the general elections. The state's commissioner for information, Gwengar Motosho, said the governor's intent was to cushion the effects of inflation on the civil servants in the state. We appreciate the service you are providing. He's saying that uh, despite the fact that things are so hard, you are still carrying on. And you are putting spies on the faces of uh, the Gaussians who are coming to government offices. So no matter how low or how high that the percentage may be, I think it's the symbolism of it that we have to look at. That at this particular time, Mr. Governor feels that uh, workers, they deserve a raise, and he has pronounced it. And I think there is no way you put more money in the pockets of civil servants if you not uh, have uh, effects on uh, people who are offering goods and services in town and then the general economy of Lagos itself. Mr. Motosha also assured residents that the political season will not distract the state government from delivering its promises and projects during the last months of 2022. Very beautiful schools. Some of them in uh, places where uh, you didn't have such uh, uh, schools. Then we have housing projects that we are going to be commissioning before the end of the year. So we have a jetties that we are going to be commissioning. All of you know that uh, we are building the infrastructure for the blue line and the red line. The blue line that will be running from uh, uh, Marina to my two, and then the red line that will be running from uh, Oyugo to Agbado. And by the grace of God, both of them are going to be ready by the end of this year. About uh, a few days ago, we saw the trains uh, for the red line arriving at uh, the port in uh, Apapa.